I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Dinah, blow your horn. A tsunami floods the shore, bringing bathing-suited cynics to their knees. At the apex, in the midst of the dressing room battle, May alone is still. I am very crazy. If crazy means I'm not like the rest of them, then I'm crazy. Very crazy. Every day I'm glad I'm crazy. Every day I'm glad I'm not like them. I cannot imagine why anyone would be willing to abrogate their wild dimensions, to be part of a world that is at its best hypocritical, and at worst, words fail. Society does every possible evil thing to its members, then adds insult to injury, telling us we're crazy, so we should take pills whose interactions have not been considered. Who's pondering the long-term effects of these pills on innocent consumers numbed, emotionally coerced, feeling only requisite non-resonating, non-threats to the system, the system that they create and to which they are beholden? Systems are tyrants, that's their nature. They can't help it, but I can. Stuck in the muck. Stepford corporate clone consumers. How to escape that sucking quicksand. Flee from tyrannical thought forms. Thoughts that humiliate, diminish, dehumanize. The middle class in America is a cult. A materialist, megalomaniacal cult. We embody the sicknesses we perpetuate through systems we insist have power over us when in fact we create and recreate these oppressive systems with every breath we take. Just say no. I'm not sick. I'm just sick and tired of you. The fight is over. Grace is on a ladder. It's a bit complicated. I think I love her. She makes me feel... less invisible. Everyone has a crutch. Some ideology, dream, narcotic, sport, hobby. Some people have more than one crutch because they're necessary. A way of touching the earth, rooting and flowering. Object-obsessed viewers bewilder me the way women value each other, or rate each other, really. That look up and down, assessing, is she a threat? Am I better looking, better dressed? Who's best? Who is best at what? Why do people want to be perceived as desirable objects? Why do we want to be purchased, acquired? How is that different from voluntary slavery? conversations. Some people can really open your mind. Romance languages are romantic because they gender all their nouns and their verbs. Their linguistic life is awash in gender. It would be easy to be monogamous if there was never a moment of ownership between people because the minute there's power over another, that ends. The delicate sexual balance that sets the wheel of desire turning, tilts the scale away from appreciation towards disdain. Contempt is the death of love. That's what makes it so hard to be monogamous. Maggie is in the house. Melt me, Rain. I'm not a witch, just a good girl frozen in time. Melt me back. Rain, melt me back to myself, down to the ground, 
down to the ground to get out of the rain. Hand me down, melt me. Rain. A lot happens between amoeba and homo sapiens, but it happens very slowly. Arlen exits. May is alone on stage. I have a discontent so deep it rocks my soul. Even in sleep, I desire beauty. I desire the beautiful to come into being, where I can appreciate it. I'm aware that your idea of the beautiful and mine are not the same. And I wonder if it means the same to you. If it soothes you like a hot sun on a winter day. Like a hug from someone you love, loving you back. The stage is dark. House lights are dim. Everything is food. End Act One. Blackout. I just, I want to create some space there. Why do we want to be purchased? Acquired.